hi welcome to my youtube channel if you are new please subscribe below hit the bell icon for notification for further videos plus youtube algorithm really loves that John chapter 5 verses 39 says you search the scripture that you have eternal life but they are they which testify of me it's amazing just this portion of scripture is so powerful that it says that the scripture testifies of Jesus and uh, it's it's amazing that many times people read the Bible to get internal life but Jesus himself has told us that you read the scriptures that you think you have internal life but they just testify internal life belongs to Jesus we have to know Jesus this is why the Bible says seek first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you a kingdom has a king and the king is Jesus so when you seek the king you will know the kingdom and when you know the kingdom you know the king all the things will be added unto you but we have turned it round we have gone the other way around and it is war you can't go to a kingdom without first being shown to the king and we want to use all the other doors and jesus says he's the way the truth and the light there is no other way to salvation there is no other way to eternal life there is just jesus when we are called christian is to be christ-like not church-like christ-like they were in the bible they were at the temples and the people who were found in those temples 24 7 or every sunday or every sabbath were the same people who were misleading the people so just because you are going to church does not make you a believer or a Christian we have to check our hearts we have to check ourselves we spend so much time rushing to church that we don't have time to even check our hearts check ourselves where are we what is our relationship with God your relationship with God is not connected to your pastor it's not connected to the elder or to when you go for Bible study, your relationship with God is between you and God. God is our Father. If He is our Father, why are we going to people to connect us to our Father? In 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 the home setup, you don't ask people to come and talk to your father. You talk to your father. You go to your father and go boldly and say, Daddy, I need this. But we talk about God as our father, but we don't even go to him and ask him. We wait for prophet. We wait for this one to ask God for us. And then when the prophet is not there or the man of God is not there, we get lost. Because we don't even know how to pray for ourselves. We don't even know how to read the Bible. Somebody has to read it for us. Even if they mix the scriptures, we, uh, we, don't, we don't check. We just believe it's amazing today that um, even the children that we're raising we are not teaching them the truth we are basically waiting for somebody to tell them it's our responsibility as parents as guardians to tell our children the truth because I've seen this thing of people uh, searching for churches for the best church for the big church for the good pastor the best preacher the best there is no such thing as best there is only jesus we should not teach our children to our children to look for the best pastor the best prophet the best church look for that we teach them to look for jesus to seek the kingdom for you to seek the kingdom you have to know the king so we have to tell them know the king and the king is jesus and the king is love and once we know that we are love 
and we are loved to be able to reach out and touch people's lives love is so powerful that it can make change the world it can change everything but selfishness is taking over in everything that we do i pray that god increases the love in our hearts i pray that the holy spirit should lead us in love that we'll be able to reach and touch more people because it's only through love that we can change the world and jesus loved first that's why we love if there's no love in our hearts the bible says how can we say we love god whom we have not seen and hurt your brother let's love and let love lead lord help us to love one another and teach us how to teach each other how to love so i was talking about children teaching our children how to how to know or what to look for you know this thing this trend that has come for big churches bible believing churches i don't hear people saying jesus believing churches this bible believing churches you know even the devil can read the bible because when the devil came to jesus he tempted him using the very scriptures he said if you are the child of god why don't you jump and the angels will come and will hold you that is in uh, psalms 91 so just because we read the bible does not make us christians we have to know jesus and he has to come in our hearts and transform us you know it has gone to an extent where people are looking for quick fixes in everything everybody wants to drive have the best cars and have the best houses and that is what we call prosperity prosperity that is being preached is made people become so desperate that now they are going out there to look for a quick fix so that they come to the church which believes that nobody should be poor nobody should be sick nobody should be you know go through certain things because if you go through then god is not with you but if we read the bible you know the bible is very clear the bible does not talk about poverty but the bible says that the, the you know the bible says that god loves everyone you know the story of the man who was who lived who was found at the poolside for 38 years if we put it in the church somebody will say that you are idle and you've just been sitting but deliberately god put that in the scripture because that man has been in the church you know that is like a church you are in a church and you have got this condition people will not even look at you because everybody wants something from god that man all he wanted was just to get healed he didn't want any other thing and imagine you're just waiting for healing for 38 years and when god came to him amazingly he healed him but the first thing he told him was that pick up your mat he didn't pick him up he said pick up your mat which means when god heals you you have to pick yourself up believe that you are healed and walk and he walked Many times we are waiting for the pastor to pick us up, the pastor to feed us, to do everything for us. He's just a man anointed. And just like David, even men of God fall. And this is why people are jumping from churches to churches because they are not putting their trust in God. They are putting their trust in the man, in the miracles. God is a miracle working God. He has never stopped. He will never stop. But just because you are not healed doesn't mean that God doesn't love you or God is not with you. He loves you. And in the miracle is that you are still alive. And God will do wonders through you regardless of what people say or think about you. 
because many times we look for honor from people so when we find our miracles other people who haven't gotten the miracle they were expecting we make them look as if there's something wrong with them there's nothing wrong with them i think we should also define what a miracle is this is why people are seeking for quick fix some of them are not miracles they're quick fix because if somebody is delivered from from whatever demons then if something goes wrong they move from that church because somebody injured them they'll go to another church and the pastor of that church will also deliver them from god knows what there are so many deliverance uh, churches around but people are still broken people are still lost so what are they getting delivered from are they getting delivered from demons or they're just you know covering up something that is is not even there or is there let's seek the kingdom of god let's seek the kingdom of god and seeking the kingdom of god is seeking the king jesus and he holds the power to everything and he finished everything on that cross and as we seek him as we go knowing and calling upon the king he will come to us and when the king comes to us he will give us everything and more i just want to reach out and pray for somebody you are going through uh, a situation you don't understand you are you're ashamed you are scared you don't know who to 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 take it to take it to the lord shall we pray father i want to thank you for every man and woman child listening that you touch them father that you reach out and touch them father in the depths of their hearts that every fears father every troubles that lord has brought them down that lord you you take them out of their troubles almighty god that you will lift them out of their troubles almighty god that you will help them almighty god and you will give them the boldness and the grace oh god to stand for your grace is sufficient i pray for those who are sick that you heal them that you touch them oh god let your love reach out and touch them father for that person who is feeling alone may you touch them may you speak to them thank you father for hearing us thank you for loving us for sending your only son jesus we give you praise we give you all the adoration because it all belongs to you in jesus name we pray amen i pray that um, this video will help somebody and um, as it helps you please subscribe and i pray that god will continue ministering to you i am nothing without him it's god speaking to you and if he has touched you please write to me and uh, send your comments and there's my email there you can email me and let's continue chatting god bless you and stay blessed